Lucas Media. So I seen yesterday where Angel Reese declared for the WNBA draft. Honestly, I think that that's the best move for her. There is nothing else keeping her in college. I mean, yeah, she could have came back and milked the system, but there may be more money on the back end in the WNBA. It's the best thing for her to do. Even though her and Caitlyn don't have issues, the media has built this rivalry between them. So people want to see them go and play against each other in the WNBA like a bird or a magic. And this would be the best time to go. If she wait another year, somebody could get hurt, one of them two or whatever, and then the buzz won't be the same. So I support her on that. Honestly, though, I'm not feeling y'all killing her in the comment section, going at her with the insults. Yes, there's certain things I disagree with her, but let's not start insulting her looks, man. If I see that, I'm gonna start blocking people. But anyway, I really hope that the WNBA do not screw this up. There's been other superstar basketball players that played who was Skylar Diggins and several other players, right? I was a Diana Taurasi's and you never really seen them become like mega, mega stars, how Caitlin and Angel Reese have. Now you can argue social media, but they just do a terrible job with their players. And then there's a lot of hate and jealousy. It's like when one of the players try to stand out, a lot of the other WNBA players get to hating and being all catty. And it's like, it's not necessary. Let Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese move the needle. It don't matter what you think of them personally. Everybody's going to eat off of it. Players be complaining about what? Making a hundred some thousand dollars, which is still more than the average American. But now you got two people that can bring fan bases there. Don't come in there and start hating and talking about they ain't this, they ain't that. And no, get behind them. Do what Magic did with Michael Jordan. <laughs> Magic basically rolled Michael Jordan wave towards the end and was saying he the, he the greatest of all time. He wasn't on there talking about Mike ain't this and Mike ain't that. So I just really hope they do it. I hope the WNBA does better with character building. You, they need to be doing interviews. Y'all need to figure out how to get these women in, in more endorsements. And I know that they don't want to hear this, but you got to you gotta figure out, number one, who are you marketing to? And number two, what are those people you marketing to want to see? You can't tell me as a consumer that I got to watch what you want me to watch. And when I don't want to watch it, I'm a sexist or whatever, right? Like, I don't, I, I don't support y'all. No, I, what's going to... When I get off work and I got to deal with this traffic, what's going to make me come watch the games? And I, and people get mad when people suggest they lower the rim. Oh, it's a different kind of skill set. And, and, and how dare y'all? Well, we understand, but we still want to see some, some live action. Could you imagine seeing the WME player get dunked on? That brings out, that brings out excitement from the casual fans. Nobody wants to see these superstars like a LeBron or an AD get an open break and do a layup. A Zion Williamson. Y'all got players like that. Could you imagine Angel Reese dunking on somebody? <laughs> and then talking that smack. Yeah, you're going to bring the casual people out because people want to see excitement. And y'all got to get that out your heads, the WNBA, man. I'm sorry. Y'all can come on here and talk about I'm hating and... But I'm sorry, like y'all gotta, if you want me to pay my hard earned money, you have to give me what I wanna see. And I wanna see excitement, character building, the list goes on and on, just like the NBA. But y'all get mad and say all these wild allegations and y'all getting y'all feelings. Listen to the customer. Every other league doing it, NFL doing it, NBA doing it. Baseball, you see baseball, they didn't sped the clock up because ain't nobody trying to go to a five hour baseball game and there ain't and you can throw the pitch one pitch every 10 minutes. So I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. Shout out to Angel Reese. We'll see you in the NBA. Tell me what y'all think.